Hey, I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's smoke this bologna chub and make a smo fried bologna sandwich. All right, y'all, well, it's May, which is National Barbecue Month. Uh, it's always National Barbecue Month in Texas, but for everyone else, this is the time of year that we put out what we call hardcore barbecue videos. In fact, this video will go in the fourth season of our hardcore barbecue playlist on YouTube. It's actually the third episode this year. The past two weeks, we've also had videos in that series. We had our pork belly with Japanese barbecue sauce. Last week, we had poor man's burnt ends, or as we should call them, middle-class burnt ends because they're expensive now. So with that said, let's jump into one of my favorites. We have a recipe and a video for smoked bologna uh, on meatchurch.com and video on this channel from four years ago. It was a big hit, a lot of fun, but I grew up on bologna. So my grandmother in Alabama fried bologna all the time. Didn't smoke it, but definitely, you know, put slits in the ends of the slices and fried it in a cast iron pan and made very simple sandwiches with it, extremely cheap. The last time we made this video, this five pound chub was six bucks, but due to today's economic climate, uh, this is eight bucks. But I wanna jump into talking about what is this bologna at first. You do not need to buy expensive bologna from the deli counter. I find that the cheap, in this case, Bar S bologna from Walmart works great because that's what I grew up on. It's really simple, it's super cheap, and honestly, a lot of friends that I have that I think are bougie love it. So you should try this, it's gonna be very easy. So let's jump into it. I've got to cut this wrapper off here. We're gonna score it, we're gonna slather it, we're gonna season it, we're gonna smoke it really easy. So I like to just get this little ring off the end here, cut it away, and then just peel it off so I can keep this, uh, keep this beautiful log of processed meat intact. It's always fun to wonder what is in this log. I don't know, ears, nose, tail, butt, who knows. All right, you can just season this up and throw it on if you like. Something I have always done is I like to score it. Usually when I score a meat, it's to open it up and give more surface area for the seasoning. Uh, but in this case, this thing is not gonna open up at all, but it will look really cool when you smoke it. So all I do with a boning knife is make incisions about one inches apart. I just kind of, using a little more than the weight of the knife, just kind of slide across here. And you kind of have to feel it because otherwise the incision is so small you can't see it. And what I'm gonna do is, like I said, about every one inch or so, um, I'm just going to repeat the process and then I'm gonna spin this around and do it um, against the grain, so to speak, the other direction. All right, now we've done these lengthwise. I'm going to go just the opposite direction. I usually find a spot where I can see a mark because this is kind of difficult to do. Move the bologna towards you so that you can roll it. And that's it, we're gonna do this every inch or so. All right, now we've got it scored nice and easy. And like I said, it's gonna be difficult to see so you gotta kind of pull it apart to, to see what you're, uh, what you're doing here. I'm gonna towel wipe my hands off and then I'm gonna slather with some yellow mustard to act as a binder for the seasoning. Gonna get a little messy here for a minute, that's okay. And, you know, like I said back in 2001, it's fun to play with your chub. So this is a part that I would spend a little bit of time on. All nice and slathered up. The next part's where I like to drive the glove police crazy. I own the brand. I can touch this bottle. It's just for a video. We're gonna use our gospel all purpose. Best color in barbecue. If you could only ever buy one seasoning, this is the one I recommend. Uh, it's amazing on pork. So that's why I'm going with it here. It just has a really pretty color, amazing flavor. If you are a meat church person, you can use anything you want in our arsenal. Like over here, we got Texas sugar, honey bacon, D's nuts, gospel. 
All those are great choices, but like I always say, use your favorite seasoning, use what you got. And while I'm doing this, let me talk a little bit about our hardcore barbecue playlist. So again, we're on our fourth season of that. If you're new to this channel, have never checked out these previous videos, there are 24 videos in this playlist already. And it is everything from, you know, cheer wine pulled pork. You've got all sorts of brisket videos, all sorts of rib videos, Alabama white sauce chicken. I mean, it is, all of the classics are already in there. Baby back ribs, St. Louis style ribs, no wrap, Texas style, full spare ribs. Uh, you name it, it's in there. And so, you know, this is a repeat, but like I said, it had been a while since we did this. And so I thought, you know what? Let's, uh, Let's add to the playlist with a little more updated video, and I had $8 burning a hole in my pocket, so, so here we are. All right, let's talk about cooking. Couldn't be any more simple. We're going 250 degrees. It's fine if you wanna drop down to say 225. You can go up to say 275, anywhere in that range, just depending on how much time you have. At 250, I like to smoke it for about three hours. If you're tight on time, just go higher temperature. I'm rocking my mill scale 94 gallon offset with post oak, um, I cook a central Texas style barbecue, so I generally use post oak or even hickory. Post oak is what I have on hand today. Any kind of wood really would work for this. I wouldn't overthink this too much, but cook on what you got. You can cook this on anything you want. You could even do it in your oven. That just wouldn't be nearly as fun. It wouldn't taste as smoky, but put it on anything. So I'm gonna put this in the pit. I'm not gonna do anything to it, and I will come back and see you guys when it's done and time to move to frying. Well, shout out to our lab Levi, the star of the 2021 video. Wish he could be here today, but it's fun to play with your chub. Anyway, he'll be proud of this. We've been smoking for three hours. Let's see how we're doing. Whew. Man, she looks good. That's the best looking eight bucks I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. I could probe the temperature because I'm sure some of you are gonna wanna know, but it doesn't matter. You're just trying to get smoke on this, right? It's already cooked. 180 degrees, so quite warm. It's really hard to screw this up. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get our frying pan going over here, and after that gets hot, then we're going to uh, sear our pieces and make sandwich. All right, let's just uh, make some slices here. Thick cut. You can see there's great smoke penetration in there. Um, I'm gonna go with a thick one here and just drop it right in. I'm gonna press it down, just like a steak. I want, you know, I want a good little sear on there. Um, I like the flavor from cast iron. Pretty excited about using this. Uh, my last living grandparent uh, passed away earlier this year, my granddaddy Sam, and this was his pan. Um, I brought it back from Alabama. It was his wife, my granny, who made fried bologna for me. So this should be, this should be special. I'm gonna let it go, whatever you want. 45, 60 seconds again, it's totally cooked. It's just a preference on putting a little bit of sear on there. And then we're gonna build a sandwich. You know, growing up, I just did mayonnaise and very cheap white bread. A lot of people like tomatoes and lettuce. Um, make it your own, do whatever the heck you want. But either way, it's not gonna be bad. And it's gonna look borderline burned the way I'm doing it, but that's okay, that's what I want. I want it, I want a good little sear on there. So it's just a preference thing. This is so hot, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. It's gonna have enough residual heat to finish cooking here. So while that's going, I'm gonna work on my sandwich. You know, mayonnaise, it's always Duke's mayonnaise. It's the only answer when it comes to mayonnaise and barbecue. Y'all all know that already. Got a little cider vinegar twang in it. There we go. It's obviously gonna be incredibly hot. We're gonna kill that. So I'm gonna let that hang out for a second and let's just try just the straight bologna to see how, uh, to see how this is. So I'll go a little, uh, little edge piece here. Get some of that seasoning. I am mad at it. Eight bucks. You can see it's hot, steaming still. Um, you know, the flavor on the outside is subtle with the, uh, with the mustard binder. You don't taste the mustard. Great seasoning. Uh, the gospel works great with this, so definitely happy with that. I love bologna. 
I know people that make their own homemade bologna, and that's great, but, and I love all that, but when it comes to this, cheap works, in my opinion. And there's just something about, you know, the white bread that frankly doesn't hold up that well in a sandwich like this, and with the mayonnaise, it's gonna stick uh, to the roof of your mouth, but that's how I like it, like I've said already, so let's dig in. Damn, so good. It is stuck all in my mouth, just like I expected. But that's what I remember growing up. This was definitely a Saturday Alabama staple in my house. That's why I call this an Alabama tenderloin, if anyone's ever wondering. I love that. I mean, for $8, you can't go wrong. I've never met anyone who doesn't like it, except for the people that turn their nose up at bologna in the first place. But I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, you guys gotta try this if you've never done it before. You can also glaze it with barbecue sauce and do other things. I just kept it really simple today. But again, I know I've mentioned a couple times, hardcore barbecue playlist. We're gonna put a card at the end of the video for you guys to scope that out. All kinds of videos that you guys will like. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the show. Be sure to like and subscribe. Your subscriptions are how we keep bringing you guys these completely free weekly how-to cooking videos from our show. See you guys next week.